Hey guys, CB Super. Today I'm going to show you how to use the CB noise removal tool. First, I'm going to show you where you can get it. It's only $5 and it allows you to remove noise from your video footage from the edit page. To get it, come on over here to cbsuper.com, come down to the shop. You'll find it over here, $5. Once you purchase it, it'll give you a dot settings folder. If you don't want to get it here, you can also come over to my buy me a coffee page and you could pick it up right here. It's $5. I think it ends up being like $5.45 or something like that due to the PayPal charge, but two different places you can get it from. Once you have it, I'll show you where to install it. Just jump over here to the Fusion page. Go ahead and click on the effects library. Come over here to where it says edit templates off to the left, twirl that down, click on effects. Right over here, you have three little dots, left click, show folder, and you're gonna drop it right into this area right here. Just make sure it says Fusion templates edit effects and you're gonna just drop it right here. You may have to restart the program in order to see it. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that. And once you are where I'm at, it'll be down here in your Fusion Effects. All you gotta do is come over here into your toolbar, into effects, come down to wherever your CB noise removal tool is. And if you're using the CB noise removal tool, you're probably also gonna want the CB sharpen tool. The CB sharpen tool is absolutely free over on my website and over at Buy Me A Coffee. And if you want to make those your favorites, all you got to do is put the check that little star next to them and it'll drop it in your favorites. So you won't actually have to go looking for it later on to use the tool. It's really simple from the edit page. All you got to do is grab the CB noise removal and drop it onto your footage. Now you may want to enable caching depending on how fast your computer runs to do that. Right click, come up to render cache fusion effect filter and click on CB noise removal. Now it may or may not go ahead and put this blue or red bar up here. If it doesn't, simply jump over to the Fusion page and then back over to the edit page and it should jumpstart that caching. Now that is a bug in DaVinci Resolve 17, not in the actual tool itself. So once that gets fixed, you won't have to do that anymore. And you usually only have to do that after you've started a brand new project. So once you've dropped the tool onto your clip, all you have to do is come over to the effects in the inspector and make sure that you're on fusion effects. If you have an open effects or an audio effect also enabled on this clip, just click over here on the fusion tab. Now by default, this tool may look a little bit different than the actual remove noise tool that you can find in the fusion page, but it essentially works the same. The only difference is I needed to create a way that you'd be able to actually look at the individual color channels from the edit page. So to do that, all you have to do is click on the little box that says red channel. You'll notice that there's a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. And then you still have your softness for Lumina and Chrominance along with detail Lumina and Chrominance. So the way that this tool works is we're going to inspect each one of our color channels to see where all of our noise is actually taking place. So first let's go ahead and check the red channel and I may want to hit play. It doesn't look too bad. In fact, I could probably skip that channel. Let's go ahead and jump into the green channel. You can see there really isn't that much noise in the green channel. So the blue channel has a lot of noise. Let's go ahead and just zoom in here and press play. And again, we're seeing a whole lot of noise. So this is the channel that I'm probably gonna pick. Your best result will be if you only pick one, maybe two channels in order to soften, allowing the other channels to retain as much detail as possible. That will help keep as much detail as possible over the overall image. So let's just pick the blue channel for now. And I'm just gonna increase the blue softness. And right around there, I can still see that there is some noise, but I don't wanna go too far. So now I'm gonna increase the detail and we can still see that there is some noise there but we might be able to take a little bit more of the softness up. So I think for this specific image, we're probably gonna have to jump the detail back down a bit. Maybe right around there. Now let's go ahead and get out of the blue channel. So it looks like it's working pretty well. It's definitely removed a lot of the noise. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it on and off so you can see this. Now some of that is chromatic noise that we will take care of in just a second. So let's go ahead and take care of the chroma noise because it's kind of distracting. So the chroma noise is actually how you can see it's a little green right here and then there's red splotches everywhere. And you can see it's just really, really nasty uh, pigmented color. So let's go ahead and take the softness and the chroma, turn it all the way up and you can see it just removes it all the way. And then we're gonna need to add some detail back because you probably noticed there was some haloing here on the side where that color is. So that looks good. We probably are gonna need to take some of this softness up as well and then add some detail to that. So that looks good as a final, but let's see with it on and off. And it looks like we've cleaned up a lot of the noise and didn't lose too much detail because we only really addressed one channel and that was the blue channel. If we feel like it is too soft or we feel like we need to remove some more out of maybe the red channel, let's take a look at that red channel again. So we do have some noise from the red channel. Let's go ahead and increase the softness here. So I'm increasing the softness until I don't see any more flickering. Be right around there. And now I'm gonna bring back some of that detail and then get out of that red channel and then come back. 
And I'm gonna to wanna to let it cache for just a minute because right now it's softening two color channels and the luminance as well as the chrominance. But you can see how fast that caches. Now granted, this clip is not very long. Let's go ahead and turn it on and off. You see, we have lost some detail, but we've also gotten rid of all the grain. So I wanna get some of that detail back, at least some of the edge detail. And the way to do that is I can actually use the CB Sharpen tool, which is absolutely free over on cbsuper.com. Let's go ahead and grab this, drop it onto my footage, and then I'm gonna right click, come up to Render Cache Fusion Effect Filter, and I wanna also check the CB Sharpen. Now I'll close this, go over to CB Sharpen tool, and right away you, you probably notice that it already sharpened it. That's with it off, that's with it, with it on. And I'm actually gonna leave that as is, I think that's a good amount of detail for what I lost. So those tools together, I now would call this pretty good. Let's just take a look at what it looks like by itself. And it looks pretty good. So we got rid of most of that chrominance, but we also got rid of a lot of the noise that was in both the red and the blue channels. So that's that looks pretty good. All right, so one thing to take into consideration is that this tool does not work on DaVinci Resolve 16. It only works on DaVinci Resolve 17. I've already showed you how to do this from the Fusion page. So if you don't want to do this from the Edit page, you still have that option of doing this from the Fusion page. And if you're on the Studio version, of course, you already have a noise reduction. But keep in mind that that noise reduction is different than this noise reduction. These are two different types of noise reduction, and you could use both of them. As with all noise removal, use them with moderation so that it doesn't soften your image too much and that goes for the temporal and the spatial as well in studio all right that's it for me if you like this video make sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks